Welcome to Los Angeles State Historic Park. My name is Luis Rincon, Community Engagement Coordinator with California State Parks and a new board member with Theodore Payne Foundation. This native plant garden means connection. This area was planted with California State Park Foundation volunteers, Latino outdoors, many diverse coalitions. The Los Angeles Conservation Corps came together to plant these native plants, this deer grass, this golden brush behind us, this Indian mallow behind us to create this beautiful space that you see here today. The overarching theme in this park is, is the history of Los Angeles. Uh, we have the connection to the LA River, which is a foundation piece of Gaspar de Portola when 1769 camped along the LA River. We also have the Zanja Madre, which was established by the Spanish, where they dammed the LA River and water was in a ditch, was sent to El Pueblo, the birthplace of Los Angeles. And second, we have the Roundhouse Bridge, which touches a little bit about the infrastructure of the railroad. This is a former rail yard. Another theme is agriculture. So we have 32 Valencia oranges planted here, and those help us talk about the theme of agriculture and the importance of agriculture in Los Angeles and Los Angeles County, and how citrus was really the second gold rush of California. More recently, there's different art installations that help interpret the site. One helps describe the Chinatown Yard Alliance as it came together, 65 public meetings, 35 different groups, a coalition that came together to fight against warehouses. This was gonna be warehouses, a million square feet of industrial development. Challenged the city, sued the developer, and said that access to green space is a fundamental human right and so they organized they came together and they won it's a it's it's a story of david and goliath where the little guy won these grandparents and community members uh, they get to see some of that engagement in in their community and, and challenging a green space and for for the health of their community and they get to see the promise fulfilled in this park and so that is something you know worth promoting and worth sharing with with all the community of Southern California and, and that's what helped this particular park become such a grand vision for California State Parks. This is seen as the gateway park. This is going to be the first park that a lot of these folks uh, LA is park poor. There's not enough park space for all the for all the people. This park will be the first California State Park that a lot of folks in these communities come and visit. And so we hope that this park can inspire the connection to other green spaces and other areas of Los Angeles, the Santa Monica Mountains, San Gabriel's, because uh, this could be the connection to all the natural resources. We're also able to see how the wildlife that engages the space. It's always a validation of our work when we're able to see wildlife you know, engage the landscape. At California State Parks, in our mission statement is high quality recreation. Not only did we host in the past a number of special events, but we also have a large community built around passive recreation. This is where people come and walk, and people come and run. They definitely come and walk their dogs. For a lot of folks and in Los Angeles, green space is, is such a luxury, and the fact that th these community members get to come and get to come to their local park uh, at a historic park, it's important that, that they can embrace their history, learn a little bit about their history, connect to their landscape, and also use it as a means for health, for, for passive recreation in this space. The most compelling reason to use California native plants is the beautiful biodiversity and the drought tolerance. Uh, water is such a huge resource in, for us in Southern California. It's critical that we don't waste it, but the biodiversity that we get to see and we get to embrace, and while at the same time saving water, it's why I encourage California native plants.